It may surprise some people, but it's only been 40 or so years that a certain corner of Marquette's Lower Harbor has been cleaned up. From the city's inception in 1849, the section that hugs the shore was home to docks, used to store lumber, it housed a blast furnace, it became a dumping place for discarded boats, and it had fishing shacks bobbing up and down in the water, even in the middle of winter. Then, in 1927, it became home to a coal yard. Marquette was growing, and the Spear Company needed a bigger storage facility to unload and store the coal that heated the city. With a gantry that moved up and down the entire yard, this place was massive. A ship would dock, the crane would unload the coal, and it would be taken off by trucks all around the area. Over the 50 years it was used, it became quite the tourist attraction. Heck, even Otto Preminger used it as a backdrop for a scene in Anatomy of a Murder. Of course, when the wind blew just right, it would also deposit coal dust all over the east side or all over downtown. Many homeowners up on the hill couldn't even hang freshly washed laundry out in their backyards without having that freshly washed laundry turn black immediately from the dust. Over the decades, coal fell out of favor, and the last ship pulled out of the dock in 1976. The gantry was dismantled, and the yard just sat there for a few years until a group of civic leaders decided to make a park out of it. It was cleaned up, grass was planted, a playground was put in, and now the Elwood Matson Lower Harbor Park is one of the crown jewels of the Marquette Park System, visited by thousands of residents and tourists a year many of whom have no idea they're walking on what was once the dirtiest corner of downtown Marquette.